Welcome back to Night in the Woods. This is the day after the Night in the Woods, the party, where everything went absolutely horribly. Um, before I go outside and dare show my face in the outside world, I think I'm going to play bass. However, I think from here on out, I'm not going to show me playing bass on camera unless it's either a new song or it's like, maybe if I do really exceptional, I'll show it. But yeah, I think I'll do it more for practice off camera. Afternoon, us. Sup, bird. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Uh, okay, I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh. Hmm. There's like... Something written inside this book cover. Whoa, left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. That sounds important. Um, I am going to take a picture of that. There we go. Is this like, what is this? Wait, where is it? Sounded like it was added, but the page it took me to didn't have anything about it. Eh, whatever. I've got a picture of it. Wow, I'm glad I looked. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now, since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. I wonder how old this thing is. May? Yeah? Come say hi. Okay. Hey, hon. You look like crap. Yep. Rough night. Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. <laughs> Thanks. If you want to talk about it. I saw Cole at a party in the woods. From senior year? Yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Did you talk to him? Uh, kind of. Sort of. I don't know. Well... He's a jerk, hon. No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I, I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out of town center. Ooh, so I can go to the right now. Finally. Yeah, they're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh, which means you go to jail for it. <sighs> They'd never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she's being all weird and cryptic. I don't know. Everything's fuzzy today. <laughs> anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I've definitely never heard this story 1,000 times. Fried, honey. The paper used the word fried. Now she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. <laughs> so what are you up to today? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna go see what Greg and you're up to. Y'all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. 
you have to water them so they grow. And we each have only so much water. Have you ever watered a tree? No, God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. <laughs> F the cops. Proudly walking across the power lines. Oh, so does that mean that the power lines now actually continue to the right? Nope, they don't. Oh. Oh, it's it's not here that's fixed. It's, well, we were talking about the church hill, so I guess it's just the church place that's fixed. All right, then. Let's say hi to everybody along the way. Hey, May. Hey, Selmers. Did I see you with a journal the other day? Oh, yeah. Doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me doing one, too. Oh, okay. Did you have anger problems, too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. Oh, jeez. So, Dr. Hank sees journals as a general cure-all. Is it working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. Then I've become a very good poet. Want to hear one? Yeah. My heart is... a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. <laughs> I hate it. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a Eunice. Selmers. It's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh. We're just friends. <laughs> Mr. Chavikov Chazikov's up on the roof again. Pretty sure he's gonna break his damn neck. Ooh, I should get up there then. Ta-da! It's Selmers, a poet. Alright, you gonna threaten to shoot me again. If he falls through one of my windows, I will not hesitate to take legal action. Who? Him, up there on the roof next door. If he falls from that roof through a window, you're going to have to pick which part of him you're going to sue. Whichever piece is biggest. I can hear you, you know. I don't remember inviting you up here. Sorry. This is... Awful familiar of you. I'm not actually sorry at all. Hmm. Hey, squirrel. How? Oh, sorry, squirrel. I think I gotta go on up here. There we go. May Borowski, you could have knocked on the door down there. Really? Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you've accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What's Dusk Stars? Wandering star is the light of which does not come through at night. How does that work? It's a trick of the atmosphere in setting sunlight. Only visible for a few weeks every year in the spring and fall. So lovely. Neato. Wanna have a look? Yeah. Excellent. Holy crap my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. The sun is bright. Make, make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I, I just did. Hmm. Can't figure this out. No, no, no. Don't give up. I, 
accidentally press the back out button. Doesn't seem like I can zoom in or anything. I think I can just move it around. Oh, what's that? These distortions must mean something. Oh, I'm getting closer. Oh, really close. The controller's rumbling now. Found one. Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Door of the Murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Door passed. Uh, burn the king's procession on the street. The door was quiet and said nothing. And the king took offense to this. Why? Royalty is strange. So what happened? Burn insulted Door, Door's family, Door's village, and so on until he was down to insulting Dor's chickens. Damn. Dor first murdered Burns' chickens, then his ancestral village, then his family. Holy crap. And when he came to Burn, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is Dor a hero? Uh, I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, I think. Like, if you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story and real people died. And you should feel terrible. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Ooh, there's... Yeah, one summer around here and I can't go any more left, so it must be to the right. Found one, I think? Let me have a look. Ah, yes. Castus. What's Castus? The star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to heaven. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? Never. <laughs> Defy Castus' gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only stand-ins for things we cannot control. You might say floods, or the cancer, or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh really? They come and go so fast. That's pretty great. We can look again in two days' time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. That's spooky, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> Door and Castus. Hmm. So up here is the church, but I feel like we should go other places first. Talk with our friends. Are you gonna run out and do this on your break? Shh. I think I'm gonna tell Nancy I'm sick. I can puke on command. Ew. Well, that's one way to do it. I gotta change your clothes in the car. In case you puke on your regular clothes. No, I just wanna look good for the interview. Good idea. I mean, it's Ham Panther. It ain't an art gallery in Paris. But I figure any leg up is good. I'm excited. So am I. I need to drink all this coffee so I got something to puke in 20 minutes. God, that's gross. you. How's it going, dude? Got a job here. That's cool. Oh, nice. Actually, I'm lying. It sucks. Oh, that's the person we spoke to, I think, when we first came out of the house the first, the first day after we arrived. The person who lost their job and was super depressed. I think they were in construction. Oh, jeez. 
I had no idea there were so many kinds of hammers. And wrenches. And nails. My god, the nails! Hey, B. Yo. I'm sorry about last night. I get woozy on cold medicine. So I don't really know what I expected to happen. Sorry for what I said. You know, I don't really remember it much. So, whatevs. Hooray for alcohol. Newtown motto. Band practice later? <laughs> yep. I'm amazed it's still a thing. We're barely even a band in high school. Eh, it's fun. Good to hang out with Angus. How did you even end up doing it? In case he left town, Angus told me that Greg was really sad. So I volunteered to be the new drummer. Well, drummer. It's a laptop, B. It sure is, May. It sure is. I'll see you later. I got some work to do. I've never been to war. Not like the recruiter didn't try, though. Hard. Like, ten guys from my high school class went off to army. Gotta afford college some way or another. Hey? Whoa, hey! We got, like, the same shirt. But, like, opposites. Oh, wow, what do you know? What's your shirt from? From? Yeah, is it like a band or something? Nah, I made it in the home ec back in high school. I just like the symbol. It's a null symbol, right? I don't know. What's your shirt mean? Secret symbol of God's wrestling league. Well, what's that? Backyard wrestling. Whoa. Where does it happen? All over the place. Backyards, you know. How did I not know about this? It's secret. Because illegal, I think. And people go to the, hosp the hospital and stuff. That is awesome. This is awesome. It's awesome. Holy crap, I'm gonna look this up. See you there sometime. Hey, Angie. Hey, May. That was just me saying, hey, Angie, by the way. <laughs> Not May. Hey, Angus. How's it going? You're like the third person I've seen today. I know you've explained it, but I have zero clue how this place stays open. You'd be surprised. Band practice later? Gotta warm up my voice. You growl real good. Thanks. I'm a born growler. When I was a baby, I never cried. I just growled. I think I cried non-stop until I was like nine. And then I cried all the time again, starting at like 13. You had a good three years of not crying in there. They were really productive years. What, May? What? Oh! Possibilities is gone. Yeah, there's a close thing in the sign. And then also on the door, thank you for 28 wonderful years, Possum Springs, Love, Sal, and Jan. No more pizza delivery. No more Big Sal. No more special birthdays. This is the worst thing that's happened to this town. Since the flood that took out... The mini golf ice cream place. Summer nights, eating ice cream, playing some putt-putt, all washed away. I'm so freaking depressed now. How about them smelters? 
Kicked some blue bear ass last night. Good game, good game. Gonna be a hell of a season, bud. Fascinating. Sports stuff. Ooh! The crates are gone from up here. I can finally jump onto the roof. Well, let's do that in a minute. Hey, Jeremy? Jeremy Wharton? No one calls me that. Germ, right? Germ warfare. <laughs> oh, that's stuck, huh? Yep. That's an okay name. Your name is May. Yep. That's an okay name. Okay. You were like a year behind me, right? Two years. So you're fresh out, huh? I hang out with Greg sometimes. We ride bikes. I'm pretty good at it. Okay. What? I saw a rabid possum the other day. Really? Where? It was crawling across the road. Had it been hit by a car? Nah, just rabid. What happened to it? Got hit by a car. Wow. It was like... a poem. Okay. You're weird, Germ. Ooh, what is up here? Something okay, drugs and malt. It's a whole world up here. Ah, look at the way all the leaves rustle around. Oh hey, in the top left corner of the screen you can see through someone's windows there's a TV with just static on it. Wait, what was that? Now here's a man who loves statues. Don't get a lot of people getting statues made of themselves today. We're secure in ourselves, okay? We don't need statues to make us feel better. If I get a statue, I'd have them make me real tall. Ah. Oh, I love the sound it makes. It even bounces up and down a little bit. Am I just about to say hi to somebody through their window? That's a little bit creepy. <laughs> uh, invasion of privacy? Hey. What are you doing outside my window? I don't know. Please go away. What you doing? Newspaper. What's in the news? Rain coming. Nah, hasn't rained since I got back. Dry year. What? We just had that big howler a week ago. Oh. Wasn't here for that. Well, it must have not happened then. <clears throat> Let's see. Could I make it up there if I did a triple jump? Probably not. But let's try. Let's see what's off to the left. Well, look who it is. Yep, alive for another day. How you feeling? I was feeling pretty bad, but I've been across town, and I don't know. That helped. Fresh air, or as fresh as it gets around here. Delicious. So what's up? Oh, so I can head out to band practice. Well, let's not do that yet. Uh, just stopping in. Gonna roll out. Later, brah. Brah. <laughs> Please never say that again. 
probably about time to head over to the church, unless something's changed over here. So how did that arm get here? Someone just running down the street? Whoops, my arm fell off. I'll just come back for that later. No one could survive their arm just falling off. Or being chopped off. Like, not by a doctor. Is this still called assault if you chop an arm off? Seems like it should be a different word. Arm chippy. You're under arrest for arm chippy. Whoever's arm that was is probably dead. Nah, no, definitely. Unless I see someone walking around who until recently had an arm. Alright, let's go up to the church. Wow, construction's finally done. Stairs open for business. I wonder what's going on up there. Wow. The church is gorgeous. It's so fun to jump on cars. First Coalesce... Coalescence Church. Sunday service, all are welcome, bingo. Trans... Tran... wait, trans... Oh, transform youth ministry. The four was throwing me off. You warm enough at night? Yeah, you know I get by. Well, I'm working on something to help you out. Nah, uh, don't get in any trouble, I'm alright. What's good? I'm gonna get cold soon. I can get you some blankets for now. For some reason we have a lot of blankets. That'd sure be a blessing. Well, we bless best with what we already have too much of anyway. <laughs> and we got blankets. the stars mean? Hot dog? They want a hot dog? And you want stars? How do I get you these things? Yes, it looks like they're they're homeless. This person's trying to help them out. Hey. Hey. You're Candy Browski's daughter, right? Yep. Who are you? I'm Kate, but you can call me Pastor K. That's, like, way more syllables. You're new here, right? Uh, 16 months? Something like that. Oh, uh, new to me at least. This over here is Bruce. Hey? Hey? Bruce is new to our community. Do you live in the woods? Yep. But not for long. We're working on fixing that before winter gets here. Gonna take some doing, but God's a doer. And they're bigger than city council. Still thinks it's a lot of trouble to go to. Listen, nobody said loving your neighbor would be easy. And you are our actual neighbor. I appreciate it. We all need a little help sometimes, Bruce. No shame in hard times. Well, it was nice meeting you both. Come up and see me at the church sometime. I will. I'll be up to visit my mom anyway. See you later, Bruce. Okay. Nice to meet you. Mary? Uh, May. May Borowski. Bruce. Just Bruce. <laughs> Pastor. Pastor Kate. I always wanted to climb the water tower, but then that one kid died doing that. Whatever. I'll get to it. Probably see cleared a uh, brittle from here, or from there, rather. Let's go in the church.
Hey, hon. Hey, mom. Wow, it's been a while since I was in here. I know, sweetie. Nice to see you in the building, at least. Did you meet the new pastor? Yeah, and a homeless guy. Oh, okay. The man across the street? Yeah, Bruce. Oh, well, that's nice of her. Going to see him? They will seem pretty nice. We're all just a pack of nice up here. So how's church working? Good. Answering the phone. Entering data of various sorts. I'm trying to get everything into one unified app thing. You know they make programs just for church administration? I didn't. I was watching online tutorials for the one we just got. But I just got distracted by true crime videos. Mom, I do declare you are slacking off at work. God will forgive me. Alright, sweetie. I better work. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to do band practice. <laughs>